Hey guys, so I wanted to show you some experimenting that I've done lately um, with cloud platform um, hash rates. And I took a look at uh, GCP Azure and AWS. Um, I plan to take a closer look at Oracle Cloud. Um, the problem I've been having in a lot of cases is when I identify an instance type in a GPU that I want to use, when I go to launch it, there isn't enough capacity in the selected region. And um, the uh, GCP is really bad at um, letting you know that beforehand. I wish they would, uh, they really need to implement something that lets you know availability in a certain zone so that you don't sit there configuring um, an instance only to find out it can't launch. Um, you spend all that time setting it up the way you want it. You click launch, you wait, and then it fails. You can sit there and retry, but it doesn't make any sense because you're not going to get an open slot. At least with GCP, I was using Central Region. I think it was in Iowa. I'm trying to get this T4 because um, I thought this was a good combination. You've got low cores. I don't need a lot of CPU. I don't need hardly any memory. I just need a GPU and a good one. Um, and the T4, out of all the uh, data center um, G uh, GPUs that are out there, uh, the K80 is the oldest. Um, the P100 seems to be pretty popular, but it's also pretty old already. Um, the Tesla P4, the Tesla V100, and the Tesla T4 is the newest one, so I, I thought I'd focus on the newest one um, and was trying to get that here, but um, 32 gig local disk, uh, GCP, N1 standard one, uh, one core, almost four gigs RAM, and a T4 in it, $200 a month. I thought, that's not too bad. Um, that's with Linux on it. Um, and then an Azure, this is also a pretty good price, I thought, uh, standard N NV4 AS V4, Four cores, 14 gigs of RAM. I don't need that many cores. I don't need that much RAM, but it was the minimum uh, NV4 that I could find um, just to just to throw a, um, a GPU on it. A lot of these instance types, they won't let you connect GPUs to them. So this has a partial access to an AMD Radeon Instinct M125. So their Azure is doing shared GPU. Um, and with Windows on that, it's about 170 a month, which also I thought wasn't too bad. I've got a Hashcat benchmark column here that I was going to fill in Hashcat values, but I haven't gotten to that yet. And the one that I tested today was, was AWS. The cheapest one I could find was G4DN Extra Large, giving you a T4, and then using this Amazon Deep Learning Linux, which was really good. Because when I tested in GCP, I just tried to use Ubuntu and Debian and, and then load the CUDA drivers and get everything working and it was a real hassle to do that but with the Amazon Deep Learning Linux all that stuff is ready to go you just launch the AMI it sees the GPU no problem and you can start using it it's really nice but of course this is the most expensive 384 that's way up there you're never gonna get um, enough Ethereum off of this T4 um, with the hash rates that I'll show you that I got um, to even come close to justifying this cost. It's a losing game, so this is more of just like a hobby activity, but um, I, I just wanted to see out of all the cloud providers, and the other ones I want to use are Oracle um, and IBM, and maybe um, Rackspace, and then there's this one called Lambda that I'm interested, um, not Lambda functions within AWS, but I think there's a cloud provider that just does GPU, and they're called Lambda, and uh, that looks interesting because they seem to have better GPUs than these data center GPUs, newer. Um, and I'm curious what their prices are, so I might experiment with that next. But anyway, so I launched the instance um, in AWS. And uh, basically, I'll just show you a few commands that I was running. Um, the, there's a tool that NVIDIA provides called NVVS. And uh, it's, it's the data center um, GPU diagnostic software. And I ran this, and um, you can see all the, the information here. Um, one interesting thing that I did find um, is that uh, they're saying the link width on the PCI bus is, is 8x, um, and it sounds like this wants, um, this wants 16 but got 8 kind of a thing. So I wonder if this is adjustable, and I wonder if AWS is purposely downsizing uh, the bus width there. Um, in order to, you know, for whatever reason. Um, so I wonder if, if that's tunable, if you could get that up to 16 and get a better hash rate, because the hash rate that I got out of this was really bad. It started out really strong. One thing I didn't understand, it would start out at pretty strong at 25 mega hash per second on Ethereum, but it would quickly duck down to 
like 12 and it would sustain at 12 for the entire time so um, not nearly enough even at 25 that wouldn't have been enough to justify the cost of this this thing at 384 dollars a month unless you go reserved you can save quite a bit of money and I'll show I'll show that chart soon um, but other information here um, pretty interesting but um, the other thing I was doing while that was open was taking a look at, um, I think I was running um, an NVIDIA tool here um, to see the temperature. So uh, you could see the temperature over here, 40 degrees Celsius um, and the wattage. It, when running the stress test and when, it, when you run the stress test, it sits right at 70, goes a little higher, maybe 71 every now and then. Um, it only used, here's your memory, 16 gig card only use four gigs and I think that's because of the DAG um, I think the DAG size is only about four gigs so there's really it's pointless to have a 16 gig GPU for this as far as I can tell you might as well just have an eight because you don't need all that extra RAM um, but it was running at 70 watts um, and the other interesting thing so you can see if we just kind of scroll up in my session history to see um, I was trying to see what uh, files was in this RPM so I could run that NVVS. Um, what else do we have here? So I was running ETH miner. I had to get Go on here, Go Ethereum. GPU burn, that's what I was running um, over here on this, this tab. GPU burn, uh, which is a nice tool to see, um, you know, those things I mentioned, the usage of the GPU. And over here was XMR. I was also running XMR uh, the entire time on this four core box and getting about 1.3 mega hash, which wasn't too bad. Um, so uh, let's see what else can we see in here. So this is what you see as soon as you log in. Um, you the deep learning AMI um, lets you um, activate these, uh, I guess, virtual environments. I think this is for VNV um, if you want to run Python. Um, but I wasn't doing any of that. But it's like I said earlier, everything is set up for you so you don't have to load drivers and set everything up this the AMI has that which is so nice so the hash rates let's look at one of the last um, runs that I did here <clears throat> and that would be this so I ran this is the command I ran uh, ETH miner GUP stratum that's my um, ethereum address and then I used us1 ethermine.org um, and I ran an API port so I could see, I opened up port 80 in my security group so I could see uh, just basic information about the GPU. It was kind of useless though when I had that other tool. So, um, And it, it gets to the pool and um, establishes everything up, spins up the miners, and gets my worker going, um, Gets starts uh, you know, fetching jobs, and you can see right here the DAG plus light is only 4.17 gigs. So that that's what goes into RAM. So my RAM never went higher than that. But the Tesla T4 with compute 7.5, I think this is a Turing uh, Tesla with 16 gigs, and I'm only using four. So that's why I would suggest not choosing. Uh, if you can save money, you don't need all that RAM in the GPU, as far as I can tell. Uh, using OpenCL. Um, and it would start out at zero hash rate, and then eventually, uh, I guess once it got a new enough jobs, it would start hashing, and it looked pretty good. And I thought, as at first, 25, this isn't too bad. This is kind of what I expected. But as you scroll through, and I don't think this is time stamped, but I can tell you that this was maybe a few minutes into it. I'm still getting 25, starting to dip down a little bit. 24.87, um, 23. Um, but it really drops off here pretty soon, 22, 20, 15, uh, 13. And then it hung out around 13, 12, uh, the rest of the way. So I don't know why it dropped down so much, but that was really disappointing because that's half of what I was getting before. And I wonder if something is throttling me. Um, I wonder if there's something that's detecting me mining and is down and is throttling me down, but I don't know if that's happening. Just a Just a hunch. But anyway... Um, it's a losing game for sure, but it was fun to kind of come up with this. And the uh, NVIDIA Developer Zone GPU Management and Deployment, um, they give you usage examples if you want to use that validation suite to sort of stress test your, um, your hardware, which I thought was pretty nice. Um, 
And I use ec2instances.info to see which machine I wanted to use. Um, which is a great tool. Um, I've heard rumors that Amazon is going to release a tool much like this because if you're if you're know anything about cloud engineering and cloud computing, uh, pricing is just ridiculous. It's hard to get a, a straight price on anything, but this tool here has been excellent at just giving you uh, an idea of what something's going to cost. Um, and you know you can see what GPU you're getting. You can choose your columns. All this stuff here, you can if you're interested in any of this, you just highlight a column. Um, the other experiment I want to do here is, is spin up a box with many cores, like 96 or more, and just try to solo mine XMR for a few hours um, and see if I can hit a block. Um, but ec2instances.info is great for that. Um, and in Azure, I tried to do the same thing. Um, had a lot of trouble. They'd, I'm going to see if they have a deep learning AMI that I could use. Um, but they were the cheapest, if I remember right, from my spreadsheet. Um, yeah, Azure was at 170 for this partial usage of this M125 running Windows. Um, I might try that next. Uh, Google Cloud Platform. Um, this is where I had trouble um, launching in the zone that I wanted to. I had to, I chose one in the Netherlands because it's the only one I could get to launch. All the other ones would fail. Um, and all of this started because of this article that I found, which was fairly recent. Uh, this person uh, set up um, claims that uh, they spent ninety dollars, um, six hours of setting up, seventy-two hours of mining, um, and got three dollars out of it, um, and created some dockers uh, from it. But um, they said the same things I was talking about: is is a whole bunch of trial and error before you get um, an AMI uh, running from scratch. So if you choose these deep learning AMIs, it doesn't have to be AWS; it can be Ubuntu or any other deep learning. But um, I use the Amazon one. Um, so looks like he used a V100 um, at that time was the fastest in the data center market that you could find, uh, P3 instances. Um, so I might try, try some of these other. Um, and the other thing is when you're virtualizing like this, I'm not, I'm always, I think bare metal would be the best way to go. I mean, obviously if I could get a, a data center quality machine with uh, loaded with P100s or V100s or something, or those Titans, I've heard those are really nice, but you're looking at a, a $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 machine, so um, that wouldn't go very well. Um, but this article is what got me thinking about it, and I thought I'd do some experimenting, and this is what I found so far. So um, if you like this video, let me know. I, I can keep posting stuff like this, and uh, you can um, offer your comments, or your if you've done cloud mining, let me know what you think about it. I know it's generally speaking a losing game, but I feel like on on some of the clouds out there, there's got to be a, a winning combination somehow, even if it's with reserved instances. Um, you're kind of playing the market there, but if you if you could save 40, 50 percent, um, getting a three year contract on a large machine with a lot of GPUs um, and mine that thing uh, 24 seven, you might be able to get something out of it if you if you chose the right algorithm, the right pool. Maybe you would solo mine, but I feel like there's got to be a combination out there that actually does work. Um, so I may try that Lambda service I talked about earlier and some of the other clouds like Rackspace and Oracle. One quick thing about Oracle. So I'm also uh, CPU mining XMR. I've got three free machines running in Oracle. So I signed up for a free account where you get $200 for free. And uh, they let you spin up, I think it was three... Um, four core machines and I spun up all three and they've been running for days now and I'm just going to run them until the $200 is out. The nice thing about it is they don't start billing you um, at that point. It's you run out of the money and they just shut off the machines I guess and um, and that's it. So I figured I might as well try to get a few bucks out of it um, while I could and uh, haven't gotten much yet but um, still giving that one a try too. So anyway let me know what you think and hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.